darkness has fallen over it. Yes. Worship Satan. People aren't witches, they're Satanists. You're totally convinced they're Satanists. You want to sell your soul? What do you got? Women, money, fame. I bet you'd be willing to sell your soul for that. You've got to want it so bad, I mean so bad, that you'd sell your soul for it. Would you sell your soul to the devil for that? You sure you want to sell your soul to this devil, kid? Somebody sold their soul to Satan to get the grosses up on that. Do actors really sell their soul for fame? You have major stars that you've heard about uh, on tele that in the news and you've seen uh, on television and film. They truly are Satan worshippers. Hey everybody, this is David Hevener, and you're watching End Times Productions. The Hollywood agenda. The number one agenda, and I'm not going to call this agenda, I'm going to call it a tactic, is to destroy the family. If, if, if Hollywood can get to the family, which they've done very successfully, you, do, you take out the father, uh, which they've done, uh, then you start working on the children, then you got a big mess. And so they've destroyed the family the past 20, 30, 40 years in Hollywood. The final blow is going to be to get to the children. And if you look at places like Disney, Nickelodeon, uh, the, uh, uh, even Netflix, uh, they're definitely getting to the minds of children. The reason is because they're hitting young minds and they want young minds to believe this is the way life is. And if this is the way life is, it's probably the way God wants it, by design. Uh, and so that's, way, you know, it's like if you have a film where everybody's cussing, where everybody's smoking dope, you grow up thinking this is what people do, and this is acceptable, and this is, you know, it's all about numbing down and dumbing down the young generation so that, that when they grow up, they do not have the tools to discern. The difference between old Hollywood and, quote, the new Hollywood is that the old Hollywood, like guys I worked with, like Martin Landau and Tony Curtis and, you know, some of these guys, they still had a, a consciousness and a respect for faith. They were still tapped into the Judeo-Christian um, system. Okay. There, there, there was a there was a there was a lot of movies that came out during their times. Ben Hur, The Ten Commandments, still was about the Jews, what the Jews went through. The Old Testament. Nowadays, the younger actors they don't have a clue about that. It's almost like they're soulless. It's almost like they're they have no spirit. I look into their eyes and and I don't see anybody. Nobody's home. Uh, why is that? Because through the generations, the young people, the young actors have been fed, counterfeit. They've been fed lies. And so they don't even know what the truth is. So they're walking around almost like zombies. To me, that's the difference between the old Hollywood, the new Hollywood. Hollywood discriminates against true Christians, okay? Not the counterfeit religious Christians, which is most of the Christians in Hollywood, okay? They don't discriminate against the fake religion because the fake religion actually helps promote the devil's agenda. Who they do discriminate against are the people that are telling the truth. But let me say something to you, and I say it humbly. They can't discriminate against the true, true child of God because the true child of God has the power of God in them. So what happens in Hollywood, I've seen Satan run in fear of the true child of God. Okay, so forget about them discriminating. They're scared to death. So why is it okay if Hollywood disrespects Jesus? Well, in their mind, why is it not okay? <laughs> I mean, it's a system that's owned by Satan, so actually is it not okay? It, to them, it's a very good thing to disrespect Jesus. Uh, the second part of that is, why is it okay to glorify Muhammad and Buddha and all these other, quote, gods or Christ-like figures, and yet do not adhere to the teachings of, of Christ and do not follow the living God? Well, because it's a system owned by Satan.
Satan doesn't want us to know the truth. The only truth is Jesus Christ. I am the truth. I am the way. I'm the only way to the Father, the, the only living God. So Hollywood's going to say, sure, go after Buddha. Sure, go after Muhammad. Sure, do all that other stuff, because it all goes back to the pits of hell. The only road to heaven is Jesus. Do actors really sell their soul for fame? Okay, that's a two-part question. First of all, most actors that go to Hollywood sell their soul because they want to be famous. Okay, now, what does that mean to sell your soul? It means to compromise. It means to side with evil because you're not siding with God. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of actors in Hollywood that call themselves Christians, and some of them are. Okay, but in order to adhere, to conform to the rules of, quote, Hollywood, you're going to not side with God and you're going to automatically side with the devil because that's the system in which that Hollywood operates. Now, that's one side of it. So that basically everybody sells their soul when they go to Hollywood because they want to be loved. They it's it's a it's a very carnal business. Okay. The other side gets a little deeper, it gets a little more complex, okay? You have major stars that you've heard about uh, on tele that in the news and you've seen uh, on television and film. They truly are Satan worshipers. They truly have not only sold their soul to Satan, but they've merged their soul to the satanic rituals that you find in Hollywood. And by the way, satanic rituals they have uh, all across the country and the world. So two parts. One is everyone sells their soul if they're not on the side of God. The, the other one is not only do the other avenue is not only do these people sell their soul, they merge their soul uh, to the devil himself and participate in the satanic ritual. Is there any truth to program multiples in Hollywood? The answer is absolutely. Why is that? Because there's program multiples everywhere, okay? In churches, in Hollywood, in middle America, uh, they're everywhere. Now, the agenda of a program multiple, or not, it's not a program multiple's agenda, it's the person who programmed them, which is usually involved in the satanic church, is to further the devil's uh, cause, okay? Now, the reason that program multiples exist in Hollywood is because uh, the camera is a very powerful tool that if you can get it on camera, it goes out to millions of people and they can see it. So the answer is yes, of course, there's program multiples in Hollywood.